So let's talk about sit and down. Two cues that everyone really starts working with immediately when they bring their new dog home. And that's awesome. But sometimes we think that when we ask for a sit, we have to touch our dog. Meaning people are bending over and touching the dog's butt. If you notice, Jack doesn't like that. It actually makes him uncomfortable. And what you think about training is being, you and your dog are collaborating together, you're a team and you want him to know that you're his advocate. Pushing his butt down really interferes with that relationship building. So I'll show you something way easier. And to some degree, a little lazier than having to bend over and touch your dog's butt. So you show your dog that you have food, right? Oh, he's eating, he likes what I have. So when we teach sit, your hand signal for sit is going to be the palm up. In all of my classes, you, the dog learns to sit by eating the food and bending their butt down. Yes! He just earned his kibble. One do it again. So he's eating the food, the hand is coming up. Yes! Good job. Once you do that three to five times and your dog is reliably putting their butt on the floor, we're gonna move to an empty hand signal. And there's a difference here. Where we add food into the picture, I actually wanna remove it right away. So you start getting training that's not relying on food. And if you follow me, your, def your dog will definitely not rely on food every single day to listen. So I'm gonna check up. I'm gonna give him one more. I'm gonna give him one more repetition. Go away. Go away. If he's starting to sit because he knows that's how he gets fed, just toss a treat on the floor. Jack. Yes. Go away. Now Jack knows that the hand hovering above his head is how he gets fed. Quick, put your butt on the floor. She's got a tasty piece of cheese for me. If you notice, I'm not saying anything. I'm only showing him the hand signal. This is intentional. A lot of people will say sit and ask the dog to sit down with the hand signal. I would argue, is your dog responding to a hand signal or, or is your dog responding to a verbal cue? I want your dog to learn very specifically the cue for sit on a hand signal and the cue for sit on a verbal cue so that your dog can learn them individually of each other. That's why I separate the two. Very quiet, quiet training. Go boy, go boy. So let's talk about how to add that verbal cue in. You're gonna add the verbal cue once your dog can reliably sit, you know, 80, 90% of the time when you offer them the hand signal. Dogs aren't English speakers. They're not natively discussing politics with each other in the English language. They're body language creatures. This is a more salient way to communicate with your dog, your hand signal. So I want you to think this is your default training with your dog. But we're English speakers, so let's actually add our verbal cues so that we can have our arm full of groceries and still be able to cue our dog outside of what our body is telling them. Okay? So to do so, and you're, you're already getting that reliable hand signal, <coughs> you're gonna get your dog up, toss the treat. You're gonna have a neutral body posture and you're gonna ask for your dog's name and then ask for a sit. Jack, sit. Yes. So because I have no body language to go along with that, he was sitting on my verbal cue. Now Jack knows sit. So what you're gonna get at home is a dog that looks at you with a blank stare on his face and has no cute clue what you're talking about. What I want you to do is I want you to count to five in your head. One banana, two banana, three banana, and get to five. Once you get to five, use your hand signal to help your dog out. That training pause, that wait between being cued and being reinforced is so important. You'll see it in my other videos. So I want you to remember, say the cue, look neutral, count to five, then hand signal. By separating the two out, your dog will realize, hmm, maybe I should just sit and I can get fed a little faster and thus the light bulb goes off in learning what the verbal cue set means for them without relying on any body language. Sit. 
oh, this is a good example. Jack just laid down. And although I like a good down, not what I wanted. So I count, I count to five in my head, and now I'm gonna give him his hand signal. Yes, good boy, Jack. 